I'm working on an oil pastel from a sketch I did with the three figures. These were charcoal based. Charcoal is a really nice medium to work with. And then I like to transfer it to an oil pastel. So I took the last figure and I used these pieces here, which you can blend really well. You can take a green and then take a red. It's a complement. And then you would just work together with it. And then you would take your blending tool, which is like a um, rubber tip and and you would just blend it together. Well I grew up in an environment where my mother was an artist since she was nine years old until she was 92 and she painted up until that age and I didn't find interest in art because we thought we already had an artist in the family so I never continued until later when I was working on murals in high school and then I decided I, it was interesting so I thought I would try art on my own and what happened was I was interested in going to Wayne County Community College and fine art and the instructors there were really great and they encouraged all different medias so I started with charcoal, pastel, oil pastel, um, pencil, uh, paint, acrylic paint, and we would uh, sketch live models and still lifes. And I found still lifes and live models to be really interesting. Uh, first, you have to get an idea of what you want to develop into a painting. If it be vegetables that you want to. Uh, sketch out and you would do a thumbnail sketch on a little piece of paper with that's my process thought and idea just to um, sketch it out about a five by seven or smaller maybe three by five and have the vision and maybe photograph some vegetables or put them out and then when I see the blank canvas I have to immediately paint it a color so that before I apply the idea onto the canvas I'll already have a color on there so it helps me to work from there and that's how I develop the piece and I don't do it right away I d take different days when I'm in the mood I have to be a certain mood to paint and it's usually around 7 at night being with the Down River Council for the Arts has helped me tremendously into developing my skills and uh, they have art shows where you can submit your artwork. Sometimes there's a DCA members only show where it's not judged and you could bring in three pieces and it gives you an opportunity to display your artwork. And I also am able to attend classes here and which is a Wednesday class. I attend an open studio with other artists and it's a lot of fun because the other artists, we're all, we all have different styles, medias we use and techniques and we help one another. So that's really encouraging to be with the people.